What is up, Coronacation? It is Friday. Oh, wait. I got you upside down here, don't I? Let me, let me turn you over. That's right. It's upside down. Just like our theme is upside down. You know, Corey, I've, uh, I've been missing y'all. I really have been missing all you guys. And uh, I, I'm just kind of sad today. You know, I'm just, I'm just missing you. You know, school has been canceled all the way through the years. It's crazy. But you know what? There's still some good things. There's still good things we can do, like learning about humility. Uh, I've been actually practicing my guitar today. I have uh, been practicing some songs for, for uh, Sunday and uh, for online church on Sunday for both the, the kids and the adults. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, but you know, I want to tell you a story. Uh, yesterday, actually, after our video, um, I had to practice humility. Let me tell you, this is a real story. So Kelly, my wife, she called me and she locked her keys in the car. And I was like, oh man, I don't, I don't have time to deal with this. And man, it's not, I didn't, I'm not the one that locked the keys in the car. She's got to deal with it. But I decided to put her first and to humble myself and go serve my wife. And I went and unlocked the car for her and, uh, and because she's my wife. So yeah, I was able to serve her that way and I was able to practice humility. Um, so uh, Corey, what, what's today about? Andrew, today we have a special guest on Coronacation. Let's see, um, he is a college student. Do you have a guess at who it is yet? Um, he has two other brothers. Um, he knows how to and can successfully do a backflip. It's a pretty good clue. Um, let's see. He, he can throw a pizza up in the air. And probably one of the most impressive things about him, he can pogo stick, like on a, a pogo stick, jumping up and down. And at the same time, do a jump rope. Do you know who it is? Do you have a guess? Who do you think it is today? Special guest. All right. Um, we're going in. Here you go. Man, I'm getting hungry. Wait, Corey? Cor Corey? Oh, man, you old silly goose. Uh, so who do I think... That it is. All right. So he, it's a he. You said he. College student. Hmm. There's Victor. There's Roger. Um. There's Sam. Hmm. He's two brothers. Okay. Let's see. That Sam or oh, there's Brady too. Let's see. Um. Roger still has two brothers. Backflip. Okay. I don't. I don't know that Sam or Victor can do a backflip. Brady and Roger definitely can. Um, throwing pizza. Ah, oh, okay. I think that one just gave it away. I, I, I think I. I'm thinking this is Brady in the pogo stick with the jump rope. I've seen Brady Walsingham with a pogo stick before. Um, I. I think that it's Brady. I think it's Brady. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong. What's up, All Stars? I miss you guys so much. Wish you could be hanging out on Sundays acting crazy. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what our word of the month would have been if we would have been hanging out, which is humility. And humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. So I think that's a good word, especially during quarantine. You get to, you have to stay with your parents like all day long. And it gets stressful for them, you know, they're a little bit stressed out because work is probably a little tight and that, everything. Um, so, showing a little bit of humility, you know, helping around the house, uh, you know, just trying to stay positive too. We want to stay positive just because everybody is stressed out. Everybody is a little bit upset about the situation. But if we make the best out of the situation, it's going to turn out great. So I'm excited, so excited to get out of this thing. Um, I can't wait to see you guys. Uh, stay positive. There's a lot of stuff to do when we're all at home. Uh, I know it's a little boring and it's a little hard to do, like want to do things. Um, but there's tons of stuff to do. You can play board games, hang out with your brothers, 
and sisters and your parents. Sometimes you don't get a lot of time to do that. But now, instead of just having two months of the summer, we're really getting like five months of the summer. So if you think about it that way, hey, it's not too bad. So, hey, miss you guys. Can't wait to see you guys on Sunday soon, hopefully. Are you ready to go? Wow, what are you wearing? I was wearing my, um, well, we were doing the new word, humility. So yeah. I wanted to live that out by going out in public and making a fool of myself. What What does that have to do with humility? Like, Well, you know, um, we're, we're told to have humility. So I thought the best way to do that was to humiliate myself in front of everyone. Oh, okay, so I think you got your words mixed up there. Um, humiliation is definitely what you're about to do, and everyone's going to laugh at you. But humility is putting others first and giving up what you think you deserve. So two different words that sound the same. They do and sound one the same, is, granted. One is... So, okay, so th so I I don't have to have everybody laugh at me. You don't. You don't at all. I have to have everyone laugh at you to be humble. Oh. You can just serve others and love others well. Oh, so yeah. I'm just supposed to put others first instead of myself. Yeah, you don't actually have to wear a sweater in the middle of spring. Oh. Yeah. Especially. Well, I like it, so I'm still gonna wear it. I'm. You Alright Andrew, today's game is called Real or Fake Ice Cream. So what you need to do is you will read some of the trivia on the screen about ice cream, some fun facts, some made up facts, and you need to decide if it is real or fake. If you think it's real, thumbs up. If you think it's fake, thumbs down. Good luck. Alright, me and Levi are here to play this game. Hey guys. In 2013, America was the number one ice cream consuming country in the world. True or false? True. True. Fake. New Zealand? Man, and I like ice cream. The world's tallest ice cream cone was over 11 feet tall. True. 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 No. Oh. Over two. California produces the most ice cream in America per year. True. It's got to be true. It's got to be. Yes! It's real. Okay. A cow gives enough milk to make two gallons of ice cream per day. Huh. True. No. Two That's for two. utterly amazing. It's two for A two. brain freeze occurs when you eat too much ice cream too fast. True. I think that's true. What? Ah, uh, the cone didn't appear until 1837. False. That's fake. That's fake. Fake. Yes. yes. All right. Let's see. Let's see. 80 87 percent of Americans have ice cream in their freezer at any given time. Yes. Yes. Real. Yeah. Real. Boom. Boom. Now. The U.S. celebrates National Ice Cream Day in July. Yes. Boom, I got it. You did it. Early on, the TV mashed potatoes were used to stimulate ice cream on cooking shows. Yes. I guessed that just in time. I said yes, but I didn't get thumbs up. John Harrison, taste tester for Dryer's Ice Cream, has his tongue insured for 500000 Yes. One million? Oh my goodness. I said, I said. Ben and Jerry's has a real physical graveyard in their Vermont for retired ice cream flavors. That sounds crazy, and yes. Boom. Boom. We did pretty good, man. I wonder how they did. How do you think they did? Good? Um, yeah? I think they did good. Oh, I, Levi doesn't think you did very good. I think you did good. Uh, we'll see you later.